There he is. There he is. Good morning, everybody. It's Dalton. How you doing? I, uh... I've been having a really good morning on some different baits, and... Oh! That was really a dumb boat flip. I should have never flipped this fish. Fortunately, he flipped in the boat instead of out of the boat. He's not that big. But what I'm using here is a swim bait. And I just noticed, man, this, this point, I'm just spot locked on the top of this point. And I'm in 12 foot of water even though the rocks are right there. So this point dips off really good. It's been one of my favorite points out here to fish. There's several of them. This has been one of them. I just noticed this morning they were just really stacked up over here. So I thought maybe a swim bait would, uh, you know, would do pretty good. And I'm just really casting it out, maybe 30 feet, letting it hit the bottom, rod tip down, and I just slow roll it. Here's what's funny about these fish today. They're not far under the surface. Um, oh God, they just want to flop all over the place today. They're not that far under the surface, little guy. There's some small ones and some a little bit bigger, and they're just kind of surfacing around here. So right now, I'm throwing this two ways. I either let it hit the bottom and roll it back, or I just cast out and start swimming it back, maybe four or five feet under the surface, and, and they're biting at it. Kind of messed my drag up on that one, so but I got a good hook set, so we're going anywhere. And I'm back here in this flat right now, using the same swim bait. And what I'm doing for with it, try to top water back here. I didn't get a bite at all. What I'm doing is I'm burning this thing right under the surface, and I'm just covering water. So I got a bite over here, which tells me there may be some more over there. Hopefully. So I, you know, in the fall time, you need to be throwing a swim bait. Uh, swim bait is one of the you know, especially in the shad lake, you know, you, you know what these lakes have, they're loaded with shad, it's one of the best imitating baits, and uh, this is that uh, Rapala Crush City uh, swim bait, this is a three inch swim bait, it's uh, gizzard shad in color, I've got a Z-Man 3 8 ounce head on there, why a 3 8 ounce? I like a heavy head on the swim bait when I can get away with it. I got some wind right now. It gives me better control, better casts. I can burn it. I can go slow with it. I can work it in shallow water. I can work it in deep water. It doesn't matter. If I'm in shallow water, I just burn a little bit faster so I don't get hung up in anything. If I'm in deeper water, a lot of times I'll just roll it a little bit slower. Both work just fine. Uh, fish are very active out here. Fall time of the year, they're going to be active. You just got to find those schools. You got to find where they're grouped up. And when you do, <laughs> you're going to catch them. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate you. Talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.